here's our pond. As you can see, it is very low. We have not gotten much rain this year. A couple months ago, I put in this solar well. These are the four solar panels. They're temporarily on the ground. So this well only pumps when the sun is shining and it doesn't pump out very much water. We are going to use these batteries to power our solar well during the night. First, I marked the plywood so that I could break it down with my circular saw into more manageable pieces. After that, I used a table saw to break it down even further. I also used the table saw to rip 2x4s and then cut them to length. Once I had all my pieces cut, I sorted them and started assembling my box frame. Once I had the frame assembled, I started attaching the sides to the ripped 2x4s and continued this process until I had the complete box made. For the lid, I screwed and glued on some thin strips to create an overhang to keep water out of the box. I went ahead and put some 2x4s on the bottom to keep the box off of the ground. I was able to find some reduced exterior paint that was brown 
at the local hardware store. And I use this to completely paint the box. After the paint dried, I cut some holes. These holes are going to be used to fit some com computer fans into. I placed a battery in the box to make sure it did not interfere with the fans. Once I had the fans screwed into the wood, I used some caulk to seal in all the cracks. I put a thick bead onto the wood to seal up the vent grate and then screwed it on. I did the same on the other side but did not put any computer fans on this side. Here you can see me screwing in some hooks. These hooks are used to keep the lid on the box. Here is the finished box without any batteries in it. Now you can see how the box looks with batteries in it. Me and my helper are hooking up the wires to see if it works. Here is the complete setup and as you can see it's getting 24.5 volts. Now I have to move it to the site. Once by the solar well, I have to reassemble the wires. The kit came with two extra solar panels to supply additional power to charge the batteries while pumping. I assembled these according to the directions. Once all the solar panel wiring was done, I went ahead and connected it to the control box. I made the final connection and had to reopen the control box to switch it to battery. As you can see the light starts blinking meaning that the pump is pumping water. Now to see if it's working. Success! Now the pump will run day and night.